I'd like to speak to this uh, business of how do you define an artist. Uh, I, I don't, uh, I use myself usually the word creative individual, which seems to me to encompass a great deal, many more fields. In other words, to me, a mathematician can be an artist in the sense of being a highly creative individual. And I was once asked in a meeting to define creativity, and uh, it's a difficult thing to do, but one of the things I said was that uh, one thing which I know is basic to it, and that is the ability to challenge your cultural assumptions. The artist is always a rebel. Yes, Picasso said that art was an act of dissent. He's a rebel because ordinary perception is blocked, cliched, blind, and he insists that we use our perceptions in the exactly opposite way as alert, alive, sensitive. When art is not an act of dissent, actually, it degenerates down to, be, uh, to a matter of good taste. And I've long ago said that good taste is the first refuge of the witless. Good taste is based entirely on classification. Is this the right kind of thing to have in one's home? Is this good art? Is this the right kind of object? Is it suitable to this or that? This, these kinds of, uh, this is good taste. It's based entirely on non-perception and panic fears about public opinion. A good taste is the exact opposite of perception. Do you think that the, uh, the, the put-on is perhaps a, a modern way of, of challenging the people who just work in the good taste world? You, you, you sort of take them in, in terms uh, of, of the way that they would talk about what's going on and make them very insecure about whether they're just... Put on in what sense? The, the, the put-on in the sense of... Um, putting you on. I, I'm, I'm going to make you feel insecure by feeding you back to yourself so that you're not quite sure whether I'm feeding back the you that I agree with or the you I disagree with or whether I'm caricaturing you. Well, but, but the thing is to play it cool with leaving lots of stuff out. Keep the audience insecure. The, um, the artist puts you on literally in the sense that he wears you as his mask. He makes you see yourselves by um, creating a mask which consists of his audience. That's the only way anybody can be a movie star or be a, a star of any kind. He has to put on his audience and then he has to shape that image into a meaningful one. He holds the mirror up to nature. In that sense, he puts you on.